my name's Christina, I'm educator performer at the Denver Museum of Nature and Science. So we're still practicing social distancing, but I decided I wanted to make myself today a tasty treat. So I decided to make ice cream. And did you know you can make ice cream at home with just a few simple ingredients? So this is the ingredients that I am going to use today. So first of all, we need either um, cream and milk or we could just use half and half. I'm gonna use half and half because it's easy to get hold of. And then the next thing I'm gonna add is some vanilla and then a little bit of sugar, and then I'm gonna make my ice cream green. So if you have any of these ingredients at home, you can make ice cream. So, in order to make the ice cream freeze, I need two things. I need ice and I need salt. So there's several different types of salt. Here I have some sea salt, kosher salt, regular table salt, but the absolute best salt to make ice cream with is this. This is rock salt. This is actually the kind of salt that you might put on your path during the winter in order to melt ice. So um, that's actually not going to touch our food today, but it's called rock salt. So what I'm going to be doing today is using the endothermic process. I am going to put my ice cubes in a bag and I'm going to put some salt on top. Now the chemical reaction between this, the ice cubes and the salt causes the ice cubes to melt. And then, before they can actually do that, the ice cubes have to borrow heat from somewhere. And because your ingredients is going to be warmer than the ice cubes, they are going to borrow the heat from your ingredients. And then it's going to get colder and colder and hopefully freeze. So let's go ahead and start the experiment. So I am going to be using a big bag and a small bag. And I'm going to put the smaller ingredients in first so I can just keep it propped up in my uh, jug right there. So the first thing I'm going to add is a quarter cup of vanilla, a quarter cup, excuse me, quarter teaspoon of vanilla. That would be very vanilla-y. And the next thing I'm going to add is three teaspoons of sugar. Let me think, right, teaspoon right here. I'm gonna put that in the bag too. All right, and, and if you like to, you can add some food coloring. I think it's kind of fun. I'm gonna go for this green color. I'm just gonna add a couple of drops of food coloring. All right. Before I put the cream in there, I'm going to prepare my other bag. So here I have a big bag. And that one, I am going to put putting some of the ice cubes. And then I'm going to sprinkle some salt on there. Hello, pretty cat. <laughs> okay, I washed my hands. Okay, so we are going to go ahead and measure out eight ounces of the half and half, right there. Okay, and I'm gonna very carefully add it to the bag. You might want someone else to hold the bag for you. It can be pretty unsteady when I add that mixture. Okay, and then I'm just gonna try and get as much air out of it as possible. If you let the liquid come up a little bit, the air will be naturally pushed out and make sure it's sealed. It's very important that it's sealed. Then I'm going to add a little bit of salt to the ice cream so you can, and start the endothermic process. I'm going to be putting my ingredients inside there. I'm going to add the rest of the ice cube. And I'm going to add more salt. Probably about four to five teaspoons of the rock salt. Or you might have to add a little bit more if it's a different type of salt, because as you can see, this rock salt is pretty thick granules. Okay, and again, I'm gonna try and get as much air out of the bag as possible, seal it, and then I'm gonna start jiggling it around like this. Almost like I'm driving a car, or imagine I'm driving a car. So this will take about five to eight minutes. So keep jiggling and be back here in about five minutes. Okay, I've been shaking here for five to eight minutes. Look, I have a hole in my bag. So let me go ahead and grab a bowl from underneath before there's a terrible ooh, accident. 
accident. Okay, so let's go ahead and see if I've made ice cream. Wow, looks pretty good. Green ice cream. Wow, can you see that? I'm gonna try a little bit. Hmm, hmm, I have to say it tastes surprisingly good. Wow, so this is an easy experiment that you can do in your own house using very simple ingredients. And um, if you do decide to make it, I definitely invite you to post your ingredients that you use to make it taste a little bit different. Don't forget to share it with DMS Science Party and have a great day.